Okay, after you have your turtle shell filled in, should look something similar to this. I'm gonna show you how to paint his body, but we're gonna mix some colors. <laughs> this is a very limited palette that we're working with today. So I'm gonna show you how to, oops, hit the camera. I'm gonna show you how, how to mix a teal green. So you're just gonna pick up some blue and put it here on your palette. Get your brush wet, pick up some green and mix it here on your palette. And then you have a really pretty teal blue. Now, when you're painting with this teal blue, since we have mixed it, it's going to be really, really wet. So you don't need a whole lot of water with this. Um, maybe just a tad, but not a whole lot. Now the color, the, um, the place I'm gonna use this color is around his shell, this border around the outside edge of it. I'm gonna keep the space in between the segments we painted earlier. I'm gonna keep that white, and I'm just gonna move this color around the outside edge of his turtle shell. I'm not painting each section of his turtle shell a different color. I'm using, I'm um, going to leave those pencil lines on there because I like the way they are showing through. But I'm just going to paint it one solid color. Oops, see my mistake right there? <laughs> I forgot to paint that little segment. I'll come back to that in a second. Okay, for our next step, we're going to paint the, um, little flippers and head of this little sea turtle. So let me show you how I did this on this other piece of paper. We're gonna need to mix some colors because we're working with a very limited palette with these Crayola watercolors. So to mix a teal green, like we have right here, you're just gonna get your brush wet, pick up a little blue, move it over Pick up a little green and move it over and swirl, swirl, swirl it around until you have a nice pretty teal green like we have right here. Okay. Now, those little flippers here. I'm gonna do something kind of weird. <laughs> I'm going to draw a big flipper on this page so you can see what I'm talking about. So, Something like this. First thing I'm gonna do is fill it in with this teal green. And you want to really make sure it is loosey-goosey. You want it to be wet. A really wet mixture. Just like that. Then on the front, of each flipper, the flipper that's pointing that way, the edge that's pointing that way, I mean, you're gonna wet up a little piece of paper towel and lift out some paint to give it a highlight, to show that the light, that he's swimming towards the sun. He's swimming up towards the sun. So you're gonna lift out a little bit of paint right here to give a highlight. Then he's got these little speckles on him. And depending on how wet this is, they may spread out a little bit, which would be okay. Some of mine spread out and some of them didn't. But the way to do that is with the opposite end of your paintbrush, dip it into that teal paint that you mixed and make sure you get plenty on there. Leave some little dots around. They don't have to all be perfectly round and you for sure don't want them to all be the same size. So dip, dip it in your paint and then give it a few little, um, a little pounces on there before you dip it again. And that way your dots will get smaller as you go along. Now you can see in the part that's wet, 
especially right in here, they're spreading out. That is fine. We're gonna splatter this whole thing with water here in a little bit and there's gonna be a lot of spreading out. So do each of your fins that way and his head. And on his head, remember, we're highlighting the front part of each flipper. So you want to highlight the front part of his head too. Okay. Also, I went around the edge with that teal. I did not do every other color like a stripe. I just left those lines as kind of almost like little texture lines and just filled in the whole thing. So use your teal paint to do his arms and legs. <laughs> I guess he has arms and his head in the border of his shell, and then come back and we will do some more. Okay, hopefully your turtle looks something like this. Hopefully you've gotten it to this point. You wanna make sure it is all the way dry before you move on to this next step, or your paint is gonna run in places that you don't want it to run. So, you might want to pause the video again. I know we just paused, but if you want to pause the video again and let your turtle get good and dry before you move on, um, that would be a good idea. If he's already dry, then we're going to move on to the next step, which is the water around the turtle. Now, this is where it gets a little messy <laughs> and a lot of fun. So we're gonna wet the paper down just a little. You don't have to be really, really detailed with this part like we were um, on his shell, on his back, on those little segments. We're just kind of wetting it around in places. And then I'm gonna drop in some blue and let it kind of do its little run around thing that it likes to do when it's wet. Oops, got ahead of myself there, jumped into some green. Okay, that's what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add some green to that and let it mix on the page. Now, if you mix it too much, you're gonna get a teal, which is fine. That's a beautiful color, but we want to let it contrast um, against the turtle. We want the turtle to, to be the star of the show. So if you do end up with some teal, just try not to make it right um, right by his head or right by his flippers. Um, try to try to get it to move away from him so that he's the star of the show. You want to work pretty quickly on this. You want it to stay wet. So we're just going to keep going as fast as we can here. Alternate between the blue and the green. Let it mingle a little bit. Let it kind of do its own thing. I'm going to add some teal up here away from away from my turtle. Pull in a little bit of teal. Okay, so now we've got him all surrounded by water, and here comes the messy part. We're gonna put some salt on there. Now you can um, shake it right out of your salt shaker that you use at your um, dining table, or I keep mine in a jar like this. I'm just gonna shake some out in my hand and then sprinkle it all over. What that salt does is it sucks up that watercolor paint. We've done this before in the studio. It's gonna suck up that watercolor paint and then when it dries and brushes off, it's gonna leave a really nice, pretty texture there. Now, while we still have it <laughs> um, like this, we're gonna do something that makes people a little nervous. I've done this in adult classes too and it scares them a little bit. But we are going to either, you can either use a spray bottle and spray water, or you can just dip your brush in. And we're just going to 
kind of splash some water across there to show uh, lovely I like it <laughs> it's just gonna kind of let the water flow over the turtle to show that he's in the ocean that he's underwater that he's not floating on top it's just gonna kind of mingle his colors a little bit make him a little bit messier and it's really going to um, show that he's underwater because he is right now. My turtle is very wet. He's literally underwater. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we are going to let this dry completely and then come back for the very last step of our sea turtle. <laughs> 